I'm so excited. What a day to come and share God's word. When we are also dedicating children. Na pia tunawekea wakfu watoto. 2 Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 3 to 12. And I want to read as it comes up on the screen. We are bound to thank God always for you, brethren. As it is fitting because your faith grows exceedingly and the love of every one of you abounds towards each other. So that we ourselves, both of you among the churches of God, for your patience, and faith in all your persecution and tribulations that you endure. Which is manifest evidence of the righteous judgment of God that you may be counted worthy of the kingdom of God for which you also suffer since it is a righteous thing with God to repay with the tribulation those who trouble you and to give you who are troubled rest with us when the Lord Jesus is revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in flaming fire taking vengeance on those who do not know God and on those who do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. This shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. When he comes in that day to be glorified in his saints, and to be admired among all those who believe, because our testimony among you was believed. Therefore, we also pray always for you, that our God would count you worthy of his calling, and fulfill all the good pleasures of his goodness, and the work of faith with the power. Verse number 12, that the name of our Lord Jesus Christ may be glorified in you, and you in him, according to the grace of our God and the Lord Jesus Christ, our Father, our prayer is that you would speak to us this morning. Speak to us in a language that we can all understand. For this is our prayer in Jesus' name. And everybody say amen. Si useme amina kama unaamini. You are in the house of God. The other time I was preaching at Shiloh. I told them the biggest problem of churches is that we can become so churchy, churchist. That you become holy when you enter the gate. We need to be holy all the time. I said when you are in the church then. If God was to minister to you. And you feel that is my word. Now receive it. Don't you worry about anybody else. You can even stand and walk out. Or come and touch the altar. And declare it is well with me. And you go home. That is church. Religion is just to sit. When you are not supposed to sit. Just to sit. When you are touched. You are just seated. Hata inuka. You can't even stand. Unakosa wakati wa kuinuka, you fail to stand. Hallelujah. To say hallelujah. You know, <laughs> when you preach to America, if you happen American, to preach in their church, me I have done. Mimi hey, church in moto. The church is on fire. Preacher, preacher. Jamaa nakuja hapa mbele za preacher. It's mine. yangu. But here, uko dani. It's mine. Receive it. Ipoke. And I pray that one day this church will be church. Na ningeomba siku moja hii kanisa iwe ni kanisa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Mwambie jirani yako iwe kanisa. Let it be church. Wacha kusikia baridi na joto ishaingia. Don't know? feel cold when it is hot. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. You know the time that we are living in are very, very difficult. This is a very difficult time. And every conversation that you are having with someone, it can end up by saying the economy. Oh, the economy. Oh, the fuel. 
oh the that and the that and the that hiki na kile na kile so in the time that we are living in nyakati ambayo tunaishi ndani a conversation is not ending mazungumzo yetu hayaishi without people making some comments bila ya watu kutoa ma that are so discouraging ambazo za kuvunja moyo sana it's like there is no hope ni kama hakuna tumaini but i have come to talk to you lakini nimekuja kukuongelesha and to encourage you na kukutia moyo so that you can have hope in god ili uwe na tumaini kwa mungu a conversation was had the other day zungumza zungumza ile kwa siku ile somebody was saying mtu alikuwa anasema you know what unajua nini kuna kitu ninaona there's something i'm seeing alikuwa akimwambia mwenzake my hairline is in recession wale mnashika hiyo amen najua ni kiingereza naitoa kizungu mingi and my waistline na kiuno changu imeingia hiyo kitu kingine now mungina kasema it has also gotten to, to some depression nyingine imeingia katika mawazo nywele kuna recession kiuno kuna inflation kuna uchungu katika kiuno yani haukuli vizuri <laughs> ya mshiki haukatwi haukuli na ingia kwa depression that's that was a conversation yeye alikuwa amezungumzo tu but in that conversation what is true lakini mazungumzo hayo is that there are some challenges ya kwamba kuna changamoto amen amen and i would thank god na nashukuru mungu for those challenges kwa changamoto hizo one singer sang and said mtu akaimba wimbo akasema through it all kupitia hayo yote through it all kupitia hayo yote i've learned to trust in jesus nimejifunza kumtumainia yesu through it all kupitia yote things can be hard mambo yanaweza kuwa magumu but let's learn something in it lakini tujifunze kitu ndani yake i told the first service niliambia watu ibada ya kwanza If there is a government that belongs to the church is this one. Kama kuna serikali ambayo ni ya kanisa So when they tell you can serikali yenu. Mkiambiwa serikali yenu. Amen. Amen. Serikali yenu. Si useme amen. Amen. Hata kama hukuichagua si useme amen. Amen. Because I have preached from here myself and I have said. Nimehubiri hapa na nimesema I will not look for that man that is called serikal. Sitatafuta huyo mtu ambaye anaitwa serikali. Because when I say serikali help me I'm saying Kimani rise up become the government and help. Ninaposema serikali nisaidie nasema Kimani simama. Because that person that is called the government is you. Wale ambao anaitwa serikali ni wewe. Serikali yako. Si umwambie jirani yako serikali yako. Your government. Ninaona huyo hataki kuambiwa ni yako. Kama ni wewe unalipa mshahara wale wanafanya kazi ule si yako. Anyway, kuna nyesha leo. It's raining today. Hairline iko na recession. Waistline iko na inflation. Na depression. And we think it is only happening to us now. Na tunadhani inatendekea tu sisi wakati huu sasa. But those comments lakini mazungumzo hayo they remind us all yanatukumbusha yote that we face pressure ya kwamba tunakutana na shida. And normally na kawaida, people face stress of life na watu wana hizi uzito wa maisha. And they face the stress of life wanaposikia uzito wa maisha they just keep on plowing through na wanaanza kungangana tu kupita ndani day after day siku baada ya siku but occasionally lakini baadaye the pressure gets to them lakini uzito na wajia and they crack na wanavunjika they crumble na wanangangana or they crash ama wanapasuka but i pray to the lord lakini naomba kwa mungu because he lives kwa sababu yuaishi i can face tomorrow nitaona kesho i refuse to crumble nakataa kunyanyuka i refuse to crack nakataa kupasuka i refuse to crash na nakataa kunyanyuka because he lives kwa sababu yuaishi for many kwa wengi they get to some hopelessness wanafika mahali hawana tumaini in their existence katika kuishi kwao and that is the point na hapo ndio sababu that paul gets us to na paulo anatupeleka pale and he wants to address that problem na anataka kushiriki hiyo hiyo shida second thessalonian wa thessaloniki wa pili the theologian say it was written about six months after the first one wasome walisema iliandikwa miezi sita baada ya mmoja because after paul wrote it baada ya paulo kuiandika he discovered there is some hope that these people needed alitambua kwamba kuna tumaini ambao watu hao wanahitaji and he comes very very quickly to them na anakuja haraka sana kwao to so that he can put hope he can in, 
bring hope. He can help them to understand what is the purpose on the pressure that we find. If we can get grasp of it and understand why it is there, it shall leave me a better Christian and a better believer. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see, hope Tumaini. hope Tumaini. when I have hope in God it is like this man that was being chased by a buffalo after it did whatever they do and then decided you are going to have it and the man so between him and the death there was a tree but the tree from his head to where the, 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 the whatever that branch was was 10 feet so he had to run and jump 10 feet plus if he was like me 511 so you jump 15 11 but because he hoped of his security he ran so fast and jumped but he missed the branch on his way up may God cause me to jump and go beyond the standard of this world he jumped and went beyond the branch but thank God when he was coming back he got hold of the branch and he got saved there is salvation for us it is not easy the pressure is there may it cause some idling with it you that you can jump over walls even when pressure is so much tell your neighbor there is pressure all over but Paul before he tells us how to handle it there are two entrance points but I think they are critical for us when I'm driving on the highway and I'm coming from the Roisambo roundabout for me to, to get into the road there is a, a part of the road that is supposed to help us. Normally it is the slowest. But for you to get to the fastest, you get with the slowest. And Paul wants us to get some facts of entrance so that we can understand what he's talking about. Entrance number one, I find it in verse 8 and verse 9. Put it back again there. Verse 8 and verse 9. In flaming fire taking vengeance of those who do not know God and on those who do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Verse number 9. They shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's very interesting for us to note that Paul is telling the Thessalonians there are some things that are not negotiable. They are non-negotiable. When you don't obey God, when you don't obey God, in your disobedience, there is some destruction. There is something that is going to happen. Those people will be, put, will be punished to everlasting destruction and shut out from the presence of the Lord. That will happen. I wish that scripture was not there so that we can talk about hope. But before we talk about hope, it is talking about hope to people that know their God. The Bible says in the book of Daniel, the people who know their God, they shall be strong. They shall do exploits. But they have to be strong in the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. There is a non-negotiable consequence. You can't tamper with the truth. The truth is without him we are lost. We are doomed. That is it. There is no, you can't short change it. You can't run away from it. You can cover yourself. It is, that is the truth. 
Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. I'm talking to you today. I have come to preach to you today. Because you know what? It will be so embarrassing for Bishop. You came to heaven and I miss you. And yet I told you about hope. And you left the church with a lot of hope. But you don't have eternal hope. So Paul is trying to cause us to know. Before we even understand this thing. There is an entrance to the highway. There is an entrance to the hope. There is an entrance to the victory that God gives us even when the pressure is awesome. There is a second thing that Paul wants us to understand in verse number 3 and verse number 11. We read, we ought always to thank God for you. Hallelujah. We are bound to thank God always for you, brethren, as it is fitting. Because your faith grows exceedingly and the love of every one of you of you all abounds towards each other. Verse number 11. Therefore, we also pray always for you that our God will count you worthy of his calling and fulfill all the good pleasure of his goodness and the work of faith with power. In other words, Paul is trying to say the non-negotiable once you have dealt with it the second thing for you to do is to have a priority of prayer. You pray Push until it happens. Keep on praying. Keep on praying. Don't pray and give up. Pray. Keep on praying. The non-negotiable you have dealt with it. Then you move into prayer. You are very close to what God wants to do for you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Prayer is essential. Prayer is important. Prayer. Maombi. Prayer. Maombi. Prayer. Maombi. Prayer. Maombi. You know, I know there are people who come and ask, Bishop, how, how have you succeeded in one area or another? They have always said, I don't know. know. But the truth is, prayer. Ombi. Prayer changes people. Prayer changes things. Prayers can change you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. So prayer is important. An old preacher was asked by another preacher. No, the old preacher was telling the younger preacher. You know the stories that we tell people. When I was young, and then we ask what happened. When I was young, I was preaching. Then what happened? So the old preacher told these other men when he was asked what happened. He said, the people who used to pray for me are all gone. Wote wameenda. In other words, alikuwa amekaa. Hakuwa naomba. Sasa tupende tusipende. We like it, we don't like it. Many years ago Edward, miaka mingi iliyopita, I would go to a funeral and they would say, if you are a 50 and above, and then I grew up and I said, if you are 60 and above, and then I said, if you are 60 and above, those people get fewer and fewer. Can I, can I surprise you? Can I surprise you? If you are 67 and above stand. Kama we ni miaka 67 na kwe, na juu usimame. Masharia. Kwa ni masharia peke yake na mimi. Now that, that's how serious it is masharia. That's how And you know there was one time we were tulikuwa wengi kwa hii church. We were so Lakisa many. Kisa wazee wameenda wapi? Where are the old people? So this old man says, thank you masharia. This old man was saying I, the people who used to pray for me are no longer there. I want to recruit a new generation. Pray for your bishop. Pray for your bishop so that your bishop can still preach the way he used to preach when he was young. Because prayer propels. Prayer moves. Prayer encourages. Prayer comforts. Prayer comforts. Nahitaki mambo mengi. Nitakutana na mwalimu ananiambia bishop na kuombea. Hiyo tu. Namuuliza hata ukiwa Eldoret unaniombea? Eh? 
gives me hope. Knowing there is someone that is praying for me. Kujua kama kuna mtu ananiombea. You know. Najua. In 1973. Mwaka wa 1973. We went to a PCA church. Kanisa la PCA. And uh, it was a youth camp. Ilikuwa ni mkutano wa vijana. And then we prayed before we went to preach the preacher we prayed for the preacher tukaombea mhubiri and then when the preacher went there akapiga pulpit ngumi moja ikavunjika so when he finished preaching what did you do he said, said you people mbubi. prayed for me and i had a lot of power ninyi mliniombea na nikakuwa na nguvu zaidi no that is not the power i want huyo sio nguvu ambayo unahitaji i don't want to break the pulpit sitaki kuvunja but i want to say power work Prayer, prayer works. A number of points that Paul wants to bring to us. After now we have entered into the highway. Hope he wants to bring to us hope. But he wants to tell us that power it will come yes. But it will come under pressure. That power under pressure produces hope. Inaleta tumaini. Verse number 3 and for we mami. ought always to thank god for you brothers and rightly so because your faith is growing more and more or exceedingly and the love of every one of you abounds towards each other verse number 4 so that we ourselves boast of you among the churches of god for your patience and faith in all your persecution and tribulation that enjoy in other words Paul is saying although you are going through tribulation although the economy is worse Paul is telling them we boast ourselves with you because of three things three things your faith is growing your love is increasing and you are standing tough wow and there is a fourth one all this you are facing it together hii yote tunaenda kwa pamoja blessed be the name of the lord amen so what is paul saying paul anasema nini persecution yes kuumizwa ndio pressure yes msukumo ndio economy yes uchumi ndio but no what lakini like unajua nini may your faith grow even what? when the economy is down wacha imani yako ikuwe hata kama uchumi ni mbaya increase even when the economy is down wacha upendo wako ukaongezeke may you stand tough in this economy wacha economic time katika, uh, may we face it together wacha tuiangalie pa pamoja the name of the lord amen so although there are some challenges je kuna changamoto mingi paul is speaking to us paul anatunenea even with all that pressure hata kwa hiyo msukumo yote let's love the lord wacha tumpende mungu 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 how many people love the lord here wangapi wanampenda mungu how many people know that the lord provides for them wangapi wanajua mungu anawapea no wonder the song we sang na niposa mwimbo mwimbo how sweet it is to hold a newborn baby je ni mzuri aje kumbeba mtoto mchanga you, you know parents you know wazazi mnaelewa toka kitoka huko kana toka kana kuwa ka velvet mm. material yake ni velvet ngozi yake ni nyororo mm. kwanza tumakai unasema mami ama daddy you know but that is not the joy lakini hiyo sio furaha tu it is greater still hiyo ni kuna when you confess to your child unapomkiria mtoto this child will see ya kwamba huyu mtoto ataona certain days na ataona siku zijazo na kwa sababu mungu anaishi fear is gone hakuna uoga tena blessed be the name of the lord amen so paul is saying paul anasema there are some challenges kuna changamoto ndio your faith is growing lakini imani yako inakuwa economy is bad but your faith is growing lakini imani inakuwa economy is terrible uchumi ni mbaya but your love for one another lakini upendo kwa mmoja na mwingine tupenda neni watu wa Mungu we should love each other tupenda neni watu wa Mungu we should love each other let's face what is happening all of us together wacha tuende kwa pamoja power under pressure produces hope Wezo. and it is Tijem not happening in good times na inaifanyiki katika it is happening when there is pressure inafanyika wakati kuna msukumo hallelujah Amen. Let me tell you. Wacha nikwambie. When it happens under pressure, ikifanyika chini ya msukumo, huwezi sahau. You cannot forget. Wale watu walinipatia 20 shillings. Those who gave me 20 shillings. When 20 shillings meant a lot. Wakati shilingi 20 ilikuwa ni ya maana sana. Kwa mshahara wako wote ni 650. Because your salary was 650. Ulipe nyumba na ukule. You pay rent. I love you kutana na mtu umpatie 20 shillings. And you give somebody 20 shillings. 20. Really? I say. 
I still remember those people. Nakumbuka watu wale. I go to preach to a college. Nimeenda kuhubiria katika shule fulani. In Kagumo. Pale Kamumu. And one of the student there. Na mmoja wapo wanafunzi pale. Who has only gotten 80 shillings. Ambaye alikuwa na shilingi 80. From the government. Kutoka katika serikali. Gives me 20. And I still remember her to date. Namkumbuka hadi leo. Namuombeaga akumbukwe na Mungu. Go to remember. Kwa sababu 20 shillings. Shilingi 20. Nikaingia jogoke makia. Nikalipa shilingi moja na sumni. Nikarudi dhika. Nimebakisha pesa gapi? I say. 19 na thumuni. Ah. So even you when you don't have it and somebody comes through for you Ataka you remember them wakumbuke watu kama hao then i was kicked out of school because of school fees na nikafukuzwa shuleni kwa sababu ya karo hallelujah then i'm going back home and i met some nurses training nurses na nikakutana na wale wa uguzi wakifanya ufunzi dada wana ni go train wana train wana train na nilikuwa nimefukuzwa kwa sababu ya shilingi 28 i was chased away because of 28 shillings i say I still remember them to date. Naikumbuka hiyo hadi leo. Na nime nime support nina ninalipaga pole pole. Yaani ukimkuta uweze mrudishia 28 shillings. Pariki unaona oh my goodness. Huyu mtu wa Mungu huyu live forever. Ishi milele. I'm talking to people that can remember. Naongelesha watu ambao wanaweza kukumbuka mtu who has blessed them when they needed it it is when you are going through those difficult times every gift that you receive you honor it so even now when we are under pressure there are things that you will never forget and some of the things that i want you never to forget when you are under pressure you you know we are able to see how god provides tunaweza kuona jinsi mungu anapeana and cares for us na anatujali and that brings us hope na hiyo inatupatia tumaini and god does some of his greatest work when we are under pressure na mungu anafanya kazi yake kuu wakati tuko so, chini ya msukumo i want you to remember this nataka ukumbuke hiki never forget usisahau never usisahau never forget usisahau it takes broken soil to produce a crop ya kwamba ni broken soil lazima, lazima uchimbe kwa udongo uchimbe kwa udongo ndio uweze kupanda you have to break it lazima utachilima never forget that usisahau never forget usisahau it takes broken clouds up there lazima mawingu ya, 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 ya to ya, give ya, rain ili mvua iweze kunyesha never forget usisahau when the cloud is still holding together wakati mawingu yanakuja pamoja nothing hakuna kitu but when it breaks lakini yanapovunjika the causes of god na katika uwezo wako we have shower tutakuwa na mvua never forget Usisahau never forget. Usisahau. It takes grain to break under the soil. Ya kwamba ni mbegu itavunjika ndani ya mchanga. For us to have to have bread. Ili tuweze kupata mkate. Never forget. Usisahau. Never forget. Usisahau. It takes broken bread. Lazima the mkate. broken body of our Lord and Savior. Mwili uvunjike wa Bwana Yesu Kristo. For us to have strength. Ili tuwe tuweze na kuwa na nguvu. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Pressure. Msukumo. Pressure. Msukumo. May the pressure that you are going through. Wacha msukumo ambao uko nao. May it cause you to know God even much better. Wacha ukufanye ukamjue Mungu zaidi. May it cause you to know there is a God who cares for you. Ikakufanya ukajue kuna Mungu ambaye anajali. May it cause you to know that under you ya kwamba chini yako chini ya hiyo hali ya kwamba kuna mikono ya Mungu ambayo itakushirika wacha msukumo unao unapitia know that it will not leave you dead ya kwamba haitakuacha umefariki itakuacha mwenye nguvu remember kumbuka paul is saying paul anasema your faith is growing imani yako inakuwa your love is increasing upendo wenu unaongezeka you are tough and you are facing this together na una chika hii katika pamoja what is going to happen to you wacha itendeke kwako pia number 2 cha pili the process ile hali ya kupitia the process of pressure ya ile hali ya kuwa katika hiyo hali ya msukumo produces hope inatoa tumaini so you don't lose anything even the process hautapoteza kitu katika kupitia hiyo hali kule umepitia we are passing through the process hiyo hali look at your neighbor tell them neighbor mwambie jirani umeficha mambo mengi sana you have hidden so much things huyo mm. mmekana ameficha mambo mengi The one you are sitting with has a lot. Because kwa sababu kule alizaliwa where shule alisomea born and, and michezo alicheza na wasichana wale wengine na vijana wale wengine the games they played urongo alidanganyana ubambi alipitia hiyo mm. yote all those ni uchuhuda ni neema tu yani 
Ukiniona sasa. When you see me now. Hata hiyo jirani ukimwangalia si unaona hana shida. When you look at them there are no problem. Usimuulize. Tafadhali. Don't, don't ask. Usimuulize. Don't ask. Because behind the smile. Lakini nyuma hiyo tabasamu. There could be pain. Kunaweza kuwa na uchungu. There could be sorrow. Kunaweza kuwa na majonzi. Behind that smile you are seeing. Nyuma hiyo tabasamu nayo. But they have also learned. Lakini wamejifunza. Because he lives. Kwa sababu yuaishi. I will face tomorrow. Nitaiona kesho. I will talk the goodness of God. Nitanena ukuu wa Mungu. I will have faith in him. Nitakuwa na imani ndani yake. Ukiniona. When you see pepo me. Pepo pigana nazo. Mapepo ambayo yanapigana nazo. Uzijui. You don't know them. Lakini kwa sababu Bwana yu hai. Because he lives. I'm going to face tomorrow. I'll nitaiona kesho yangu. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. So Paul says. Paul it doesn't matter what is happening verse number 5. Haijalishi nina vinafanyika. Because all this is evidence. He say. Hii ni ushuhuda. That God's judgment ya kwamba ile hukumu is right. And as a result you will be counted worthy of the kingdom of God. For which you are suffering. You see verse 5 it reminds us. It is there is an evidence. That God's judgment is right. Ya kwamba hukumu ya Mungu ni ya ukweli. But as a result, lakini matokeo yake, you be counted worthy. Wewe utaitwa wenye ufalme. May the pressure not leave you dead. Wacha msukumo usikuache kukufanya. The pressure also cause you to live. Ikufanye uishi. In the mighty name of Jesus. Kwa jina kula Yesu. I love the Lord Jesus. Nampenda Yesu. I love the Lord Jesus. Nampenda Bwana Yesu. I love the Lord Jesus. Nampenda Bwana Yesu. I love the Lord Jesus. Nampenda Bwana Yesu. It's good to love him. Are there some people that we loved the Lord Jesus together and they fell back? Yes. But I love the Lord Jesus. Because I know it is well. Oh, Bishop nimehama mehama kanisa. Umehama kwa nini? Kuna mama mmoja aliniangalia vibaya. Utakao ukiangaliwa vibaya popote uendapo. Wewe mpende Yesu. Just love Jesus. Atisijui mama mwingine alisema nini? Waseme wasiseme. Mimi nitamwishia Yesu. I wish I wish you know what that means. It means I am not the product of what people think. Mimi sio tukio la wale ambao watu wanafikiria. Because there are some people when they look at you, Moses. Kuna watu watakuangalia, Moses. They had written you off. Wameshakufuta. They had written him off. Walishakufuta kitabu. According to their standard. Kulingana na vyeo vyao. Tell your neighbor this neighbor I'm going to live on God's standard. Naenda kuishi kwa vipimo za Mungu. Actually tell them your opinion is good. Eh mawazo yako ni nzuri. But it doesn't matter. Lakini haijalishi. He says to make you worthy of the kingdom of God. Wa kufanya wa maana katika ufalme wa Mungu. To make you worthy of the kingdom of God. Wa kufanya wa maana katika ufalme wa Mungu. The process is Yo, important. Hali ya kupitia ni ya maana sana. If I never had a problem. Kama singekuwa na shida. I would never know how God could solve it. Singejua Mungu atangeisuluhisha namna gani. But through it all. Lakini kupitia yote. I have learned to trust in Jesus. Nimejifunza kumtumainia Yesu. I've said this many times. Nimeisema hii mara mingi. Ukiona mtu ameoa siku moja. If you see somebody has married a day. Usicheze naye. Don't joke with that. Moja siku. One day. Anaweza kukusaidia wewe ambao hujaoa. Victory ya siku. Moja. I say Yes. Sasa ukizoa na mtu amekaa miaka fote. Eh? Edward. Mtu miaka fote na kibeti kimwe. Nyumbemwe. Miaka fote. I have a lot to tell you. Niko na mengi ya kuambia. Actually, can I tell you another story? Nikwambie hadithi fulani. Vita mingi tumepigana. Many fights you have fought. Eh, uh, nimeona watu wale wananiangalia wanachindwa ni kweli. Yaani if there are fights zile za miaka moja mpaka miaka tano ya kushindwa kweli kitu itafanya kazi hiyo tulipigana tukashinda <laughs> we na inakuwa kali i say tumepata watoto kulea watoto kwanza wakiwa ma teenagers wakifanya mbaya ni wanani si wa baba <laughs> lakini wakisoma vizuri ni wanani hata hiyo tumepigana. Na tuigine tuigi huko ndani ndani. So when you see someone, unapoona mtu, then they will look back and say, "Hey." Utaangalia nyuma unasema, "Eh, hiyo vita mnapigana." Haistahili. (laughs) 
vita. Wo. Hiyo inaweza fanya nitoroke nitoke mahali nilikuwa ni, ni, ni samoni yangu ipotee. But anybody who has been married one week has a word for one week. If you are married 40 years you have a word for 40 years. Ula If you are married almost neno. going to 40 something, Jane you have a word for 40 something, you know? All that happens that way. Hiyo inafanyika namna hiyo na tunashukuru Mungu. But the process is important. Lakini hali ya kupitia ni ya maana sana. I told the first service. Niliambia watu ibada ya kwanza. That there were people that would fish cod fish. Ni wale ambao wangeweza vua from the eastern coast of America. Katika ufuo pale wa Marekani. And they want to take them on the western coast. Ni wangeipeleka katika ufuo wa Magharibi. From Atlantic to Pacific. Kuitoa Atlantic hadi Pacific. And they discovered when they froze it. Na wakatazama walipoifanya hiyo baridi. So it Save it will not rot. Haita neoza. But the taste lakini ile will not be like fresh cod fish. Lakini haita kuwa na ile utamu wa ile ambayo haijawahi kwa haijauzwa kinyume. Then they thought they can take them on a container. Na wakasema wataipeleka katika container kubwa. In a prison. You know container is a prison. Eh container ni kama cell. They will get there. Wataipeleka pale. But they will still not test well because na pia haita kuwa na nini nzuri. Ni watu wangapi hapa wanajua samaki ya Lake Victoria na samaki ya Sagana si the same? Nani wanajua hivyo? Oh, okay, wacha niulize vizuri. Unajua sasa ni vizuri kuwa kuwa direct. Samaki ya swimming pool. <laughs> Dio hiyo pond. Na samaki ya Lake Victoria ni tofauti. Nani anajua hivyo? Hata hata moshamo. So, huyu koda kifika kule hana wakakaa wakaulizana how can we do this pressure 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 msukumo msukumo they discovered you put pressure on that fish wakasema yeke msukumo ya samaki you get to the west coast fresh na itafika pale ikiwa na laba baba how do you put pressure na utaiweka msukumo namna gani wakatafuta samaki mwingine wetu sisi watu wa huko kwetu tunamuitaka nyoka you know kwa sababu anajivicha kwa kwa mat- yeah, hatakagi maji sana hata matope ni sawa akiona tu matope anakaa huko tu yeye yeah, ako life 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 huko so wakaweka catfish wakaweka hiyo samaki ya catfish na cod fish pamoja na kwa sababu ni maadui yeah, catfish yeah, yeah. akiona cod fish anaona mulo sasa wakiwekwa pamoja safari yote kutoka hapa cod fish anajaribu ku make sure ako hai kwa hivyo ni kupiga kona na kukula na kupiga kona na kukula na kupiga kona na kujificha kwa ma hivyo mpaka anafika akifika kule ukimtoa ni fresh ana test vipoa baada kuna ladha nzuri pressure msukumo pressure msukumo pressure but the process lakini hali allow the process wacha hali ya msukumo allow the process wacha hali ya kupitia sio kama umeshasaidia ka kakifaranga ukaona kanasumbuka ukakafungua kutoka kwa you lose it from ukikatoa katakuwa kripo forever jaribu lakini acha kachui kajitetee kagonga gonge kapiga pige kasukume sukume kakitoka kanaanza kutafuta kitu cha kuuma kwa sababu miguu mikono kana mikono bas Pressure helps. Msukumo unasaidia. May the pressure you are going through help you. Wacha msukumo mnao pitia kwa kusaidia. Make you become a better person. Uwe mtu wa maana. Number 3. Cha tatu. We are talking about peace. Tunaongea kuhusu peace. Amani. Peace through pressure. Amani ndani ya msukumo. Produces hope. Notice in verse 6 it reads. Msari wa 6 God is just. He will be back trouble for those who trouble you. And a few verses later in verse 11 and 12 he says with this in mind we constantly pray for you na kwa sababu hii tunaendelea kuomba that God may count you worthy of his calling ili Mungu awaite wenye maana katika mwito and by his power he may fulfill every good purpose of yours ili atimilishe kila kitu njema kwenu and every act prom- promoted by your faith na aele kwa kuweka juu kwa imani yenu we pray this so that the name of our lord jesus christ tunaomba hili kwa sababu jina la Yesu Kristo be glorified in you litukuke ndani yenu and in you in him 
nyinyi ndani yake according to the grace of our god and the lord jesus christ kwa sababu ya neema ya bwana yetu yesu kristo when the pressure is on wakati msukumo huko we discover peace tunatambua amani and we discover that peace na hiyo ni amani it only comes from god inatoka tu kwa mungu the peace that passes the understanding ni amani ambayo inapita fahamu za wanadamu peace of god Amani ya Bwana. Sometimes peace of God can be crazy. Ya kwamba amani ya Mungu inaweza kuwa ni ajabu. There is a writer in UK. Kuna mwandishi pale Marekani. Who before he died he had written 554 books. Kabla ya afarika alikuwa ameandika vitabu uh, 550. Si shike wengine wetu. Hata tuandike 10. Wacha hiyo 554. But the story of this writer. Lakini habari ya huyu mwandishi is that every time he wrote, he took the manuscript. Wakati alikuwa anachukua nakala. The publishers refused wale ambao walikuwa wanainakili wakakataa unajua sasa hata wapende wasipende si uko na pesa unaweza jilipia kwa hivyo hata zile nimeandika si kuwauliza kwa sababu unalipa eh ukilipa wanachukua pesa wana publish for you but those days publishing was very expensive wakati ule kwa, kwa, kuna, kuna kili ilikuwa ni ngumu sana the publisher had to accept lazima ule ambaye ananakili angekubali so this man huyu mtu took manuscript before they accepted the first one akachukua nakala zake kabla wale 774 manuscript akapeleka nakala hizo the thing is <laughs> what caused him to write again and again nini kilimfanya akaandika na kuandika peace amani tell your neighbor jirani pokea Jirani. amani pokea amani eh pokea amani pokea oh amani. Eh, there, there is pressure all over but receive But, peace kuna msukumo kila mahali lakini pokea amani they have kicked you out of a job receive Wa, peace wamekutoa katika kazi so pokea amani so keep on knocking ili uendelee kubisha and keep on knocking na uendelee kubisha in the mighty name of jesus kwa jina kula yesu blessed be the name of the lord Amen. peace through pressure amani kupitia produces mskumo. hope inatoa tumaini when the pressure is on wakati msukumo huko we discover peace kuna kutambulika kwa amani Because this is what he said finally alisema hivi mwishowe when they received it walipoipokea I knew they were always wrong. Nilijua walikuwa kwenye hawakuwa na hawakuwa na wenye haki. I was right. Nilikuwa mwenye nilikuwa sawa. I was wrong. Lakini wachapishaji. Refusing to be determined by what people think about you. Sikutaka watu waamue uamuzi wangu. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Number 4. Cha 4. The promise. Ile ahadi after the pressure. Baada ya msukumo produces hope. Inatoa tumaini. It is well itakuwa vema it's going to be well itakuwa vema it cannot be otherwise haitakuwa vingine the first service i told them ibada ya kwanza niliwambia my first time to get out of this country on a plane wakati wangu mara yangu ya kwanza mimi kutoka nje hii nchi kwa ndege i paid 3500 nilipa 3500 return yani kwenda na kurudi because the dollar was 7 shillings per dollar kwa sababu dola ilikuwa ni shilingi saba tu. Our shilling is crazy. Shilingi yetu ni ajabu. But the dollar is still strong. Lakini dola bado ni ya nguvu. Tukasirike. Si tukasirike. Tuseme irudi shilingi saba. Tukasirike. Oh, mumeona hata mkikasirika ni bure. That's the point. There is nothing you can do hakuna kitu ambacho utafanya shilingi saba the pound was 20 shillings ile ya uingereza 20 shillings kwa hivyo unaingia ndege hapa unaenda Canada unalipa 3500 return kwenda na kurudi 3700 3500 I will not waste my time. Sita praying for dollar to be seven shillings. But I will waste my time. Lakini praying for God who knows that the dollar has been multiplied. So that he can multiply my seven shillings to be a hundred and whatever for what? Hiyo for hiyo apa 50 something. Hiyo. Amen. Shilingi yangu nikitoa Bwana anaipiga anaijumulisha. Kujumulisha naona wengine wanaangalia Bishop are you serious? I am serious. Mm. Kwa sababu kujumulisha ni kunipa hekima. To multiply is to give me wisdom ya kutumia shilingi 100. Of using 100 shillings. Ni kule breakfast. I eat breakfast. Ni kule lunch. Ni kule na ni kule lunch. supper. Then I eat supper. Wanaume. 
Men. Wanaume. Men. Si wanaume muokoke. Men. So mwanaume ukimpatia mia hamtakula. So you vizuri niwaambie tu. You not eat. You give a man a hundred there is no lunch. There is no meal. But give a lady 100 shillings. Mpatie mdada 100. Mtakula. You will eat. Wa mama wa kiroho. Simbarikiwe. Amen. Na hiyo wisdom si wazee nao wapate kidogo. Amen. Because there is a promise. Kwa sababu kuna ahadi that produces hope. Ambaye inatoa tumaini. In verse number 10. Mstari wa 10. On the day he comes. Kwa ile siku ambayo atarejea. He will be glorified. Itakuwa ametukuka. With, with his holy people. Na watu wake wote. On that day. Kwa hiyo siku. When he comes to be glorified. Anapokuja kutukuka. In his holy people. Na katika watu wake watakatifu. And to be marveled at among all those who have believed. Na kushangaza kwa wale ambao watakuwa maamini. This includes you and me. Hiyo ina ni wewe There is hope. Kuna tumaini. I'm a Kenyan. Mimi ni mkenya. But I have another dual citizen. Lakini niko na na, na utaifa mwingine. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. I have a dual citizen. Niko na utaifa mwingine. May God help me. Wacha Mungu anisaidie. Because when the pressure ends. Wakati msukumo unakamilika. It will end on that day. Utakamilika ile siku. And it will go forever. Naitaisha kabisa. We'll never be faced with the pressure again. Hakutakuwa na msukumo tena. Because Jesus is risen. Kwa sababu Yesu atakuwa amefika. There is hope. Na kuna tumaini. And that is the best news we could ever get. Na hiyo ni habari njema tunaweza pokea. Because Jesus lives. Kwa sababu Yesu yuaishi. We can face tomorrow. Tunaweza iona kesho. But we can pretend. Lakini tunaweza jifanya. Everything is well. Ya kwamba kila kitu kiko sawa. But you be crying a lot. Lakini utakuwa unalia sana. So I will not pretend. Ya kwamba mimi sitakuwa kujifanya. Yeah, I see the way it is. Nitaisema jinsi ilivyo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. There is one person kuna mtu mmoja recorded in England ambaye alikuwa pale Uingereza who wanted to to sing in the in the orchestra is it uh, imperial orchestra alikuwa anataka kuimba katika hiyo band ya orchestra ya kuimbia mfalme mm. but yeye ni wale wa kikuyu ambao ukimwambi ukianza imbe ki si akija kumaliza anamaliza na ki hiyo yani anaanza gitai na mtafuta ina mtafuta ina mkoza mpaka gitai na zimwa sio wakikuyu tu wanaimbaga hata wewe kwenu ndio hiyo utakwenu so huyu angeweza nothing he could not do anything but he had money lakini alikuwa na pesa so he insisted i want to be in the in the in the choir lazima nikuwe katika bendi i want bendi. to be there lazima nikuwe pale one of the instruments nikicheza chombo kimoja so he was given a flute akapewa kile and he was made to be on the second row na akamwambia akuwe katika laini ya pili with his fruit but he was not playing anything but he was yote. pretending like he's uh, you know lakini alikuwa anajifanya ni kama anaucheza like he's enjoying it mm-hmm. and but people in the group knew who you aguna who you who you ni kutuendesha tu you know pretending Then after two years the, co- the, the, the conductor left they brought a new conductor Baada ya miaka mbili ule ambaye msimamizi wao akaondoka wakaleta mwingine mpya There was audition na kumbuka audition ya Millicent ile mnakaaga miezi kadhaa audition 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 There was audition so that you can come and play your key your your your, your instruments so that you can be placed to well. chombo chako wa kusikia You know he does not know how to play Hajui jinsi ya kucheza So on that day he got he got very sick hiyo siku akagonjeka zaidi so he did not show up hakuonekana so it was postponed so ika songeshwa mbele on that other day he got so sick hiyo siku nyingine pia akagonjeka tena so it was not postponed haikusongeshwa mbele he was found out akapatikana and the word you will face your music na ile neno ya kwamba utapatana na comes from that mistake he did inatokana na ule mchezo ambao aliufanya My prayer umbilangu is that I will be in it. Nitakuwa ndani yake. I will not be pretending about it. Sitakuwa tu na Remember where I started. I know him. I will serve him. I believe in him. Naamini. I'm in prayer. Niko katika ombi. I'm not pretending. Mimi sifanyi mzaha. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. In a little while I want us to stand. Kwa muda mchache ningeomba tusimame. Because I want us to pray.
Ningependa tuombe. We'll sing that song again. I don't know the pressure that you are going through. But maybe you need someone to pray with you. Lakini ungependa mtu aombe pamoja na wewe. Kidogo tu aombe na wewe kidogo tu. Just a small a little while. Ili if there are fears, kama kuna uoga, if there are worries, kama kuna matatizo, we need to know that Jesus came. Lazima tujue Yesu alikuja. To heal and to forgive. Ili ku, kusamehe. To heal and to forgive. Kuponya na kusamehe. And because he lives you can face tomorrow. It doesn't matter the economy. It doesn't matter the economy.